Hey guys, today we're going to learn about the circumference of a circle. Make sure your calculator is there, you've got it next to you, we're going to use it. The circumference of a circle, what is the circumference? Well basically, the circumference is the perimeter of the circle. We know the perimeter, it's the outside, the actual boundary of the circle. As you can see here, we have the diagram, the circumference is basically the surrounding the boundary of the circle, it is the perimeter of the circle. When we're dealing with circles, we call it the circumference. So remember, the circumference is the perimeter, it is the outside of the circle, and it has a special formula. The formula is 2 pi r, c equals 2 pi r, circumference equals 2 times pi times r, r is radius. Or another formula, c equals pi times d for diameter. You can use c equals 2 pi r or c equals pi d. Now you may think, what is pi? What's that symbol? I've never seen it before. What's that all about? Well pi, we need to look at it quickly before we start working out the circumference of a circle. Pi is basically a symbol it's actually in the Greek alphabet. It's the 16th letter in the Greek alphabet and it is written as P-I and we pronounce it as Pi. Pi is basically the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. So basically to work out Pi, it's the circumference of the circle divided by the diameter. Now, now we're going to use the symbol Pi and it represents 3.14. Two. We're going to use it whenever we're working with circles, circumference of circles, area of circles, when working with cones, spheres, cylinders, we're always going to be using pi. Remember pi very well. The question says, find the circumference of the following circles, correct to two decimal places. The first circle, we notice we have a diameter, and we know the diameter is the line it's an interval that goes through from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle and it goes through the center. The diameter here is 12 centimeters. We said we can use c equals 2 pi r or c equals pi d. We are now going to use c equals pi d. Why pi d? Because we have the diameter. We have the diameter, which means c equals pi d. Let's do the working out. Always write your formula, C equals pi D. C is our circumference, pi, we're going to write, put it in our calculator, times our D. Our D is our diameter, in this case it is 12 centimetres. C, circumference equals pi times 12. Grab your calculator, let's actually do it. and 37.699 and we're just going to write it two decimal places 37.70 this is our answer so the circumference of this circle is 37.7 centimeters so the surrounding around which is the boundary of this circle that has a diameter of 12 centimeters is actually 37.70 and of course we write our units centimeters this is our answer to two decimal places let's do another example join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons a passionate teacher shares his expertise unique teaching style and methods with you Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends.